my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about Facebook ads the top five things the top five things that you need to think about that you need to know that you need to remember when you're doing Facebook ads uh we're going to show you how to create an ad a basic ad and things like that but we're also going to talk about the things that most people don't tell you right the secrets if you will of how to use Facebook ads especially if you're doing online marketing uh, trying to sell a course trying to build an audience if you're trying to do attraction marketing personal branding on online and using Facebook and you want to use Facebook ads these are the five things you have to remember so we're going to get we're going to get into that but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you have a course that you're trying to sell or maybe you're an affiliate for a course or maybe you're just trying to build your audience and you're trying to learn things so that you can create a course right so you're in course income secrets today we're going to talk about the five things to remember when you're doing Facebook ads we're going to also going to show you how to do the ads and everything like that but before I get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video because of course we're going to be sharing our screen and you're going to go check that out at cis390.jsgagnon.com where we're going to be sharing my screen it's also going to be a blog post with probably screenshots and things like that but you gotta go check that out there all right so let's get right to it let me just share my screen and kind of show you if you were kind of wondering well why should I listen to this guy I can tell you I've spent I mean my my videos my face is in the way let me just move it over here so <laughs> I mean over the last two years I mean I mean I've been doing Facebook ads since uh 2015 well maybe yeah 2016 15 or so that I started doing ads um Facebook doesn't keep your data for that long anymore so I just have the last couple of years but the last two years I spent 10,000 right you can see right here and these are the kinds of uh, results I've gotten right the cost per result per click per through play per video uh things like that the uh, total amount is not that much right 50 bucks for an ad and things like that the number of impressions the number of reach the results right you see all these things and when you go back to your um <clears throat> to your ad account to go in to check it out so if you haven't done an ad before uh I probably I won't be able to show you how to set that up but you can certainly google that and try to find how to set up your account because I've already got it set up so I can just go into the ad I can't show you how to set it up since it's already set up right but there's a couple of things that we have to remember when we're talking about Facebook ads for you know selling your course or selling somebody else's course that you're promoting and just just generally online marketing online marketing you can't just be well the first thing that I'm going to say is you can't be selling so number one right number one I actually have them right here on the other screen I'm going to sh share them after I'm, I'm gone through them but number one right the, the first thing you got to know about Facebook ads which you're going to think is kind of like that's kind of like crazy I mean what there let me actually put a bunch of character in here so I can actually show you what this looks like so number one right number one is don't sell anything <laughs> that's isn't that crazy because you know the thing is that if you're doing ads on Facebook to actually sell something <laughs> this especially if uh, and you know this is true if you're brand new if you're if you just been started online and when I say brand new I mean you know less than a, less than five years less than 10 years so pretty much anybody that's trying to do Facebook ads that's learning is new right and when you're new nobody knows you so if you try to sell something you're not going to be able to I tried that by the way I have lots of these these ads that I did that were to try to sell something and that just doesn't work it doesn't work you can't sell anything in your Facebook ads and there's a uh, lots of reasons for that the first reason is nobody knows you right so don't sell anything so you know a nobody knows you nobody knows you right nobody knows you right 
nobody knows you they don't know you so why would they buy from you right Th this is one of the really important things that you learn in online marketing and attraction marketing the no like trust factor so they need to know you before they buy from you so don't try to sell anything in your Facebook ads right so number two the second reason well the second reason why you don't want to sell anything right is because Facebook will probably reject the ad right Facebook will probably reject the ad if you're trying to sell something in the actual ad if you're trying to you know uh, say oh yeah uh, buy this ten dollar report to to grow your Facebook sales or grow your sales or, you know whenever you're trying to say something like that in an ad Facebook doesn't like it they think it's scam or or they know that people will think it's a scam or it's a some sort of spam spam or something right so you can't usually sell anything even in a Facebook ad anyways so that's the number one thing is you don't want to sell anything so um well so what do you do then right what what kinds of ads should you be posting on Facebook and the most uh, the most um uh, what what how can I say the most um performing or the the ads that perform the best the ads that give you the best results there are there the two main types of ads on Facebook there's a there's the video views and the engagement right the, the engagement or the reach if you will I wouldn't I wouldn't do any Facebook like pay, page like campaigns they're super expensive and unless you're really really doing lots of Facebook uh posts and unless you're really really active and you're posting on your page and things like that I wouldn't worry too much about that just let it grow slowly over time using the other types of ads so <clears throat> so that's the first thing I'm just going to move that over here because I want to look for the second one um yeah so number two well actually I can probably just delete this the, the, hold on number two right number two is just grow your audience that's the main reason why you want to be doing Facebook ads you just want to grow your audience now I'm not saying that eventually you can't do ads to sell stuff and definitely that can work but you have to have an audience first you have to have built your brand first you have to have people know you they have to like you they have to trust you because otherwise they're not going to buy from you. so you can't do like you know if you're if you're if nobody knows you yet and you try to do an ad to sell something in say Tony Robbins uh, audience <coughs> or you know Eric Worre or some of those big names right because you can't do that by the way with Facebook and say I want to make I, I want to publish this ad to all of Tony Robbins fans right <coughs> so you can't do that now the thing is um you you want to grow your audience that's the main reason why you want to build to do ads on Facebook you want to grow your audience so what does that mean right that means that what does that mean so that means and let's put that here um just um let them know more about you okay so that could be like you know a video for example video video or picture right you can do a video or picture of you or or and you know you don't really want to get into um necessarily your product or anything like that at least not in the first ads you do uh although there's t tactics and techniques where you 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 have like you know 10 videos for example where you do different ads to each of the videos and then you grow an audience and then you uh you target the next video to the previous audience etc you do this funnel funneling of videos whereas where when they see the last video about your product they would <coughs> they would actually be interested in it because they they've seen all the other videos they've they've learned who you are because you're doing that in the different videos right that's kind of and this is the thing no matter what you're doing whether it's ads or not you need to be getting people to know you so you there's lots of different ways to do that right on Facebook uh you can you can do things like posting daily on your Facebook fan page right on your Facebook uh, profile or your page and uh, where you post things about you about your you know you know there's 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 a education around um 
types of posts right you your life post and uh, value post and uh promotion post and how much how much percent of each of those and I know it's a there's lots lots of other things and I I did lots of uh, uh episodes on those different things too in the past so you could certainly go to my blog and go look through old uh, old episodes but right now we're going to focus like I said on Facebook ads okay so just use to grow your audience so that means just a video or you can have a uh a call to action right a CTA call to action to go to you to an opt-in page with free content right so you want to <clears throat> you want to send something to you want to send them if you're going to be sending them to a link it has to be a, a page like a funnel right a page or an opt-in page where they can enter their name and email to get something in return for free right that I mean sure some teach you go ahead and sell something right away but the problem is that is that if they don't know you yet that's not you don't want to do that right away you want to that would be if you want to sell something on a funnel on the first page <clears throat> you want them to know you yet even 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 and I know this from experience because I've done this and it didn't work for me even if you do an offer on the second page right you do your first page which is a free something and you send them the free thing and then on the second page you have this offer to upgrade right like seven bucks or five bucks <coughs> just to get them but the problem is that if you're sending them to your first page and they're like cold traffic basically people who don't know you yet the second page they're not gonna they're not gonna upgrade so there's no real point in in sending them to that second page until they've warmed up to you so you could use an email anyways we're going to talk about that in a minute but there's there's you got to warm them up before you offer them before you get them to buy something right so that's just to grow your audience so now let's go to the next one <clears throat> and I'm just gonna hold on here there we go <clears throat> so number three <laughs> is create custom audiences you want to use custom audiences for your videos right away well actually you can you can create it afterwards it'll build it but so the thing is that if you're doing a video so create custom audience so um when doing add to video create custom audience custom audience for it so once you've got your custom audience you can use it to retarget to retarget they call it retargeting use it to retarget um another ad right another ad and that means that these people that see the other ad they will be only people who have seen that first video right <laughs> so you can do that and that's why you want to use these custom audiences um I don't know if we'll have time to go through all these these things but those are definitely things that you can always google if uh, if I don't if I don't go through it right um so then the next the next one and let's just get quickly through that the next one is the next one sorry I'm just uh so the next one is uh here we go the next one is ensure you have a pixel on your blog and opt-in pages so your Facebook pixel so uh set up your Facebook pixel and then <laughs> and then add pixel code to your uh to your to your pages right you can use you can use <clears throat> so you can so you can you can add directly uh, d um, ex uh code directly or use google uh, tag manager so I use both and I probably don't need to use both but um whenever you're creating your pixel basically what your pixel does is it lets Facebook it lets you create audiences and and retarget ads and things like that to people who have been to your blog for example or who have seen a certain um a specific uh, funnel page right so say you have a page about weight loss right where you're offering free uh 5 10 or 20 tips to 
to uh, increase your ability to lose weight right <clears throat> and you got this little ebook that you're giving away for free you can actually uh, target videos to people who have been on that page if you want using pixels right but if you don't put the pixel on your opt-in page on your cover on your funnel you won't be able to retarget to those people it won't be um, possible I mean there's other ways but using Facebook this is the best way to do it and it's the easiest way to do it <clears throat> is using uh pixel and then number five let's do number five number five is have proper follow-up sequence in email list so any of the ads <clears throat> that you do there's there should be two goals for your first Facebook ads and this should be the goal for a long long time this is the goal I should have and this is the kinds of stuff that I kind of messed up on because I did other kinds of ads and I tried to build other things before that was done <clears throat> but you should have number one you should be building for your audience on Facebook in other words you want to have ads that that Facebook is going to use to get people to know you to get people to see your posts right number two you want to have ads that send people to a, a capture page an opt-in page a page where they put their email for a free offer right you want to have th those are the two ads you want on Facebook that's it that's that's it so you know they're either going to be videos or images <laughs> or something that tells people to go now obviously right if you want to do that you have to have um you have to have something that you can offer them right you can't just have you can't just create and this is one of the things that's probably one of my mistakes too is I've been creating audiences without having a really very very focused offer right so I've been kind of <clears throat> all over the place you know course creation even I was in crypto at some point I I did um uh, Facebook mini chat automation I did uh attraction marketing I did personal branding I didn't create a blog I created a course create a platform uh, and now my active group users extension all these things are all different I and you know it's okay to be all over the place you're learning things and that's kind of what I did right I learned lots of stuff over the over the years <clears throat> what is it that I need to focus on right so but still you need to have a proper follow so what does that mean right so you have you so must have um an email um, an auto responder right so you need to have an auto responder if you don't have an auto responder you can't send people emails the only thing you can do is send them ads so that means spending more money or spending more time on Facebook to create posts that people will actually interact with right <laughs> some people teach engagement I actually did that for a while teaching engagement but that's really not where the money is it's not in building engagement it's not in getting you know 500 comments on your posts on Facebook people that comment on your posts on Facebook and that give you 500 comments they're just looking for people to comment on their posts <laughs> they're not looking they're not going to buy anything from you well maybe some will but chances are that's not what they're doing so what you want to do is you want to build a community you want to build people uh, people to get to know you right you want to be able to do all these different things like that so you need to have an autoresponder to send emails out to people who opt in to your free offer so if you're like I said before as an example if you're offering some sort of tips to lose weight better right to be healthier losing weight or whatever <laughs> you want to send emails to that person that opted in you want to send them emails 5 10 20 emails depending on what you're trying to accomplish but each of those emails and you know if you look up Russell Brunson he talks about uh five emails right he talks about five emails and he's got a specific he explains specifically exactly what the first email is what the second one the third the fourth the fifth what it should be talking about but it should be talking about around your offer now when you give that free um ebook that talks about l losing weight that's not your offer your offer is whatever they would buy after they get to know you and they get to believe that you can give them what they're looking for which might be weight loss right <clears throat> or you know growing your Facebook audience or or creating Facebook ads or whatever the stuff that I do kind of thing right so if you see one of my ads I'm gonna I haven't done ads in a while it's I turned them all off about six months ago this is the last two the last two years was I spend this much right and but 
last six months I don't think I had any I kind of had some other things I did but the thing is that that's what you need to have you need to have an ad that gets people to see you to get people to learn who you are by using videos and and uh, images and things like that <laughs> those are the kinds of ads you can do and then you have to have an autoresponder and you must have a whoops have a campaign so they so they get to know you right so now if you don't you can do this like really really precisely and everything and some people actually succeed in doing this really precisely me I've been doing it for like on and off because I don't have like you know eight hours a day every day I just have a few minutes a day <clears throat> so it's it takes a longer time for me to put stuff together but that's kind of where I've learned is these things right these five things that you need to do on Facebook to learn about <clears throat> to learn about Facebook whoops I'm still trying to resize this a bit here okay so yeah so these are the things that you need to learn that you need to keep in mind when you're doing Facebook ad okay so now let's go to Facebook ad creation let's go into Facebook first <clears throat> when you go to when what you got to do is you got to go to business.facebook.com uh, let's actually put that in that you go to business.facebook.com right so actually actually let's make it even simpler let's make it even simpler so you go to your page you got a Facebook page right if you don't have a Facebook page you need a Facebook page to do ads you can't do ads without a Facebook page so um, the recommendation I have is create a Facebook page with your name and uh, make it a page that you post once in a while too me I've been posting mostly my uh, videos on here but I could be posting more but the idea here is if I look at some of these pictures I have like say for example I get this picture <clears throat> this picture here is a picture I posted uh, about coffee a while ago see last year September 26 and you can actually <clears throat> you can actually uh I guess you can't do it here you got to go through oh okay I thought you could when you're okay well let's not do that then so let's just take a look at one of, let's actually you know what I'm going to promote one of these videos and I'm going to show you how that works okay so first I'm looking at my page right now I'm just scrolling through the page you see there's a boost pay, boost post button right there I'm going to I'm going to move my my video again here back to here okay so you see there's a boost post right there so this is a post I did what is the easiest secret to marketing online the only thing though yeah that's the thing these videos are long videos and they're the kinds of videos that Facebook um they look at the text like if I look at this for example right uh hold on this one here these are just uh, okay here's the post uh, the actual post so Facebook will actually scrape this text you have here right and they'll if they see anything that they think is about selling or about making money or things like that they're automatically going to reject the post the the ad anyways <coughs> and so you know that's so I don't know I I can I can still do it and but it might not get approved and besides it won't get approved while I'm recording this anyways but let's just do that and let's uh let's just show you how it works okay first you click on this boost post button right here and then what happens is it'll give you options of uh like of uh posting it right so it gives you an option of an ad account if you don't have one it'll ask you to create it then it'll ask you to tie a credit card to it and this in this case I'm just going to say I don't want I want uh let's change that it says right now he's saying he's going to do a um where's the results because I don't usually use boost post I just use but I'm going to change that I want it to be get more video views right I want video views the video that's what I want right so the button I don't want a button or do I uh, uh let's uh sure I can I no actually I don't want a button let's say no button because I don't want to because what happens is when you add a button it adds it to the post and changes your post so I don't want one I just want to leave it as just a video right and uh it's special ad audience okay so you can just let Facebook decide and maybe I'll just do that right now I'm not going to worry about it but it's basically saying in the United States and age interest in I don't know where if he gets these but that's Facebook that just decided you can choose your own targeting we're not going to get into that right now 
but then I just say a budget I'm going to say uh let's say 30 days and I'm going to make it it's got to be what 50 bucks let's say 50 dollars over a month right <clears throat> so it's it's telling me it's going to get about this much people per day okay so that's the ad now once and also there's a pixel right here you can set a pixel so that's what we talked about earlier but now I'm just going to do an ad to get Facebook to bit views and this is kind of video views so payment method oh I'm not on the right account oh that's nice okay I guess I have to go on this account no button more video view did he, did he keep everything he did keep everything okay because I do have a credit card on this on this account payment uh yeah okay so that's um so that's how you create the ad you, then you just click oh I guess you can't see it I guess I'll have to move this again whoops what happened here? hold on I'm missing something up. there we go okay move that over here so then you click on this boost post now down here and that'll basically submit for a review right location and currency what is this Dawson who's Dawson let's go for I don't know why this I've never seen this before um I think it's minus five minus four I'm in minus four here <coughs> no minus four yeah, minus four eastern time Halifax there we go hmm but I already have a what is going on I haven't uh I'm not sure why is it not going to the right account oh I have an ad credit right here I didn't even know I had an ad credit oh, otherwise it'll be my visa okay that's good uh why is there no pixel this is new stuff I haven't seen this before <laughs> but like I said I haven't done ads in a while and I also never use the boost post this is the boost post thing where I basically choose um, video views like you just saw and then once that's all done I just say boost post now and okay there you go so now once you have the credit card and everything set up it'll just submit your ad and that's that's kind of how you do your ad so now I can go to the ad center <clears throat> and I can see this ad which I was in by the way right over here it's that's what it was but uh oh no actually the ad center is different see this is another thing I don't even know about look at that it shows me the previous ads I did on my page and stuff like that okay so that's the first thing you do you create your ad the next thing is that we want to create an audience for the ad so when you're in the business center and the ad, like this is the ad manager right how do you get there so under well actually let's try to get here so go to resource center I'm not even sure how to <clears throat> resource and tools business apps ad center all ads maybe no that's not it audiences well, I guess let's go to audiences from here I've I haven't like I said I haven't used this way of accessing I guess it's similar to that I'm, <laughs> I'm going to create an audience <clears throat> and I'm going to call it uh CIS uh, what video did I just do let's go back to here and then let's reload this and let's go find which one it was I think it was 388 was it how to find active users in any Facebook group this is I just want to see what um <coughs> edit Oops. under edit you can actually go and see what it looks like I actually have a call I'm gonna have to go to in a second here but this is uh 389 okay I just want to call it like cis 389 viewers okay so it's going to be um the can you do custom audiences here or well, I guess you can't do custom audiences here this is just a regular audience I don't want that okay so you have to go into the business manager you go to business dot facebook.com and then you choose your ad your account which is this the one I use all the time and I want to go into my ads uh into my uh actually that's not right 
that is not right see more ad accounts I guess it's this one okay I'm gonna have to go and uh, do that another time we'll have to do another session on this because it it's taking longer than I thought um and hopefully you enjoyed and you're going to be here for the next one we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time